Mm, what's up, people? In this video, what are we going to do? Hmm. You should do a video on Unnatural Vegan if you haven't already. No, I have not. I have not. Unnatural Vegan. Is this like... He does, what is this? I wonder. Oh. Hmm. Former crazy raw foodist turned pro-vaccine, pro-normal diet vegan. Honestly, all of this, like, vegan shit, it's like one step up. Hey guys, up. so I just want to start this off quickly by saying that I am... It's like one step up from all this, like, trans stuff, or like, like w all, all these, like, weird, like, s sexualities that there are, like, I'm a sapiosexual, or like, demisexual, or like, all this, like, weird, like, Tumblr shit. Like, this, this vegan stuff is like, it's like one level up from that. Um, oh, will the vegan community ever stop cherry picking studies, obsessing over industry funding and demonizing fat intake? Ooh, wow. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You didn't tell me what video to do. A terrible vegan insults this 32 year old lady. Oh, I guess that's, that's the terrible vegan. <sighs> How to fail on a vegan diet. Criticism is not propaganda. Dag nabbit, I'm fat. What I ate vegan. Destiny is done debating vegans. Fully raw is fully wrong about fish. Not fully wrong, but it makes a great title. Okay, I like her. I, I don't know anything about her. I'm going to be nice to her in this video. Maybe. Why are so many vegan kids malnourished? She's got some interesting videos here. What I ate today. I guess we'll watch this one. Fucking 25 minutes though. Whatever. Um, okay, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers that you want me to take a look at, let me know in a comment, poor favor. When I read about the malnourished toddler in Sydney this week. Hmm. who at 19 months was so severely starved she looked like a newborn baby. I was heartbroken and outraged, but I also felt something else. Anger. Not directed toward the incompetence of the parents, but toward whoever wrote the headline and included the word vegan. So this is a quote from an article called Stop Labeling Neglectful Parents as Vegan by Jay Brettnauer. For those who don't know, this refers to a case of severe neglect by two parents who uh, are vegan. Actually, the mother is vegan. The father has made it known that he is not vegan, and he's tried to use that as like a, none of this is my fault. And the judge was like, nah, dude, you, you obviously play a role in this. You're their father. You let the daughter get to this point. Anyway, so all of the kids, they have two older boys and a little girl. All of them were taken last year when it was discovered that the little girl, um, who was about one year old at the time, was severely nourished and developmentally stunted as a result. Um, again, she was, uh, I think, just over a year old and weighed less than 11 pounds. That is very, very, very low. She couldn't roll over. Um, again, that's normally you would see kids starting to roll over at around four months. Um, again, she's just over a year old at the time. The doctors described her as floppy um, and she was deficient in several nutrients, vitamin D, vitamin B12, calcium, iron, and zinc, and vitamin A which is not surprising considering her diet. Apparently her diet consisted of one cup of oats with rice milk and half a banana in the morning and a piece of toast with jam or peanut butter for lunch. And the mother said that she would offer tofu for dinner, tofu, rice, and potatoes, but often because the kid was quote unquote fussy, uh, she would just have oats again. And the child had no medical record. She had no vaccinations, no follow-up visits after she was born. Apparently the mother just gave birth and left, never took her to a doctor. She doesn't even have a birth certificate. And this isn't even the only case of a vegan child becoming so severely malnourished this year. There was another case, this one in Florida, where a vegan couple, they described themselves as vegan, they nearly starved their baby to death by giving them potatoes in lieu of formula. Over and over and over again, we see parents who refer to themselves as vegan. This is not just the media labeling them as Vegan. They call themselves vegan. In this case, the, the mother calls herself vegan. Feeding their children a totally inappropriate diet, not taking their kids to the doctor, not getting them vaccinated, letting their children get so bad that in some cases they cannot be helped. It's too late for them. They end up dying in the hospital. And even in the case of this little girl, she's never going to fully recover. Her height is permanently stunted. Are we really saying that the vegan part of this has nothing to do with it? Like, would they say the same thing if this were paleo? If the parents were paleo and ended up feeding their kids some crazy restrictive paleo diet, like not giving them any milks and they weren't getting calcium? Would she say the same thing that paleo played no part in it? Somehow I doubt that. Let's just make Oh, I like this girl. What is she she's like the anti vegan vegan or something like that? Um She makes a good point. I think I think something important to note here is that, as I've said many times, you have a lot of. Wh why do I keep minimizing this? What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, you have a lot of um, vegans who are drawn to veganism because they have eating disorders, right? N not because, like, I mean, w what sane person is going to feed their kids such a restricted diet? Their one-year-old baby, like. What, what, who's going to do that if not somebody with an eating disorder, you know, a fucking anorexic skeleton person, no offense, any of you, but like, um, who, who would do that really? Like, you're not going to do that because you love animals. You're not going to like feed your kid less than what they need because you love animals and you don't want to hurt animals and like support the fucking meat industry. Okay. That, that does not line up. 
you know you understand what i'm saying this these are these are people who like fucking are just insane about food and they like map over their insane fucking beliefs about food to sadly their children who don't know any better um and yeah like a little bit of vegan cope here which she's clearly pointing out um but i i think i think more attention needs to be drawn to the fact that like a lot of these vegans especially the fucking celebrity one. Well, okay, fine. I, I guess there's crazy people like this too, but a, a lot of them are drawn to it because it's a restricted way of eating and they fucking, you'll like, you're, it's like instant skeleton. If, if you choose to do it that way, it's very easy to become a skeleton on that. So like, that's, a, that's like the look these people are going for. Let's make it clear right now. Veganism is not child abuse. The child was not on a strict vegan diet. A misnomer as veganism is a lifestyle choice. The diet itself is plant-based. Okay, pretty sure most vegans, including myself, refer to the diet as a vegan diet, but okay. This child was being starved. It doesn't matter whether the modicum of nutrients that were permitted to enter this darling baby's body were meat or plant-based. The important fact is that she wasn't getting enough. She was neglected, and that abuse should not be hijacked by the anti-vegan brigade. Yes, a vegan diet can be healthy for kids. My toddler is living proof of that. Uh, I wouldn't really consider tiny baby. I don't think that really counts as vegan yet, since they're still on formula, and all kids at this age are supposed to be on breast milk or formula. So yes, it absolutely can be done. But this number of injured kids in such a small community, there are so few vegans in the world. How is this not concerning? Maybe it's because feeding kids vegan is hard, unless you know a lot about nutrition. Maybe it's because a lot of the vegan educators online don't know dick about nutrition, but talk as though they do and encourage people to eat the way they do. Maybe it's just because lunatics are drawn to veganism. But even if it really is just that people who are mentally ill are drawn to veganism, I don't think the answer should just be, well, these parents are crazy. It has nothing to do with veganism. I think maybe we should be asking why. Why are these people so drawn to this diet? Why do they find it so appealing? Maybe we should take a look at the online vegan community. It is full of angry, misanthropic, borderline psychopathic vegans. It is full of borderline anorexic, if not obviously anorexic vegans. It is full of vegans offering horrible nutrition advice, feeding their children inappropriate diets that are just full of fruits and vegetables and rice, and being praised for it by other vegans. Now, truthfully, even without the online vegan community and the shithole that it is, I, I think we would still see these cases. Veganism is still very much on the fringe, and so it's going to attract people who are attracted to the fringe, people who uh, like conspiracy theories, people who don't trust authority, people who feel like they want to know the truth, capital T, and they want to be in on some special knowledge that no one else knows. It's awful. I hate it, but I think we're, we're going to keep seeing cases like this where, where parents just let their children deteriorate. They don't seek help for them when they're obviously suffer suffering for months. This was months of suffering. What this little girl went through, this doesn't happen in a day or a week or a month. This girl was suffering her entire life. However, what is the downside to believing that maybe just... Oh my god, I love this girl. Like, wow. Fuck. Like, strange. I, I guess she does have more credibility when it's coming from a, a vegan is she is she a nutritionist or something i'm not really sure but uh did she not just say like everything that i just said you know what i mean like amazing i've never heard anybody say that um explicitly like that um i guess Sverage has kind of hinted at it in his videos but the implication like the point that he's making or trying to make is that veganism will lead to malnourishment as opposed to people with people who intentionally malnourish themselves because they have, they're insecure about their body <clears throat> are naturally drawn, drawn to veganism as a way of eating, as a way to kind of hide that, which seems to be what she's saying. Um, also regarding breastfeeding, like random thought, but I, I, I want my kids to be breastfed. Like I don't say for as long as possible, but like <coughs> for a long time. Like that shit is like, there's all kinds of studies about like kids who are breastfed, like being healthier. Like th there's not going to be any formula in my house. Like future wife of mine, like you don't like breastfeeding. We're getting a wet nurse. Like somebody's gonna be breastfeeding that fucking baby. Like, sorry, it's going to happen. Um, or I'm buying breast milk and I'm fucking putting on like fake tits and fucking breastfeeding the kid myself. Like actually, um, it's just so good for the kids. Like, I guess if you get raw cow's milk, I guess that kind of has the same nutrient profile. Um, but come on ladies, like, like inconvenience yourself a little bit for the health of your child. Maybe promoting horrible nutrition advice plays some role in this. Acknowledging that we may play some role just means that we're probably going to be more careful, right? We're probably going to be more careful about the advice that we give out. We can make sure that the nutrition advice that we are giving out is coming from professionals, is coming from actual professionals. We can make sure that we don't show inadequate diets and pass them off as healthy and appropriate, especially when we are talking about kids. I know that most of the channels doing this, they, they don't want to do this. They don't want to put in this effort. You know, it's mostly coming from like vegan vloggers and the way to make videos and stuff like that. And they just want to turn on the camera and start talking, right? They don't want to look into nutrition advice or make sure that they are providing proper information to people. But grow up. Maybe, you know, look, you're, you're talking about, we're talking about diets. Like this is kind of important for health. And I think if you're going to do that, the very least you can do is at least learn a tiny bit about nutrition so that you don't like recommend potatoes and lettuce as a meal that's appropriate for kids. Which brings me to Mona Mia Frost. She is a vegan YouTuber. She has over 700,000 subscribers. Um, she regularly does like one day videos for herself and also for her now nine-year-old daughter, Gabby. And she has a video where she shows lunch ideas for kids, five different lunches. And one of the lunches is literally mashed potatoes with lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, and raisins. Obviously very little protein or fat. She says you can mix it with almond milk, but most almond milk has very little fat in it because it has very little almonds. It's mostly water. Uh, yeah, very little fat, very low protein. Obviously a very imbalanced diet, not only for an adult, but especially for a growing child. Another one is just pasta with nutritional yeast, bell pepper, broccoli, and dried papaya. Again, very low protein, very little fat. This one has a peanut butter sandwich, which 
is great since peanut butter is a great source of fat. It's also a great source of the amino acid lysine. But look how little of it there is. Like that's that's barely anything on the bread. My toddler eats like four times that amount. This one also has some beans, but again, not very much. She puts like a tiny amount of hummus on the wrap and then a little bit of chickpeas and some avocado. So that's good. Obviously healthy fat. The only one with any meaningful amount of protein and fat is this one. It's rice. Could you could you imagine if like this is your mom growing up? Like this is your mom. This fucking like sorry, she's kind of hot. I, I'm I'm definitely attracted to her, but like this is your this is your mom. This like fucking uh, not her where can we get like a shot of this thing anyway youtube's not being my friend right now well there we go um wow like you know props to her for for committing to the role i guess this is this is a uh, true commitment to the role definitely but like could you imagine i mean okay fine i'm sure she's a nice person blah 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 but like not not only is she little out there <laughs> but like she prepares you these like malnourished meals like because she's malnourished and she like wants her little babies to also be malnourished probably like we'll take them to get their first tattoo at, like 11 but but this girl uh unnatural vegan she's she's wonderful oh my god but like i'll tell i'll tell you what the problem is here is like this is the voice of sanity right it, this is not a popular message nobody wants to fucking hear this shit i mean actually may, maybe they do I, I seem to recall this video being slightly more popular than her other videos um but like the voice of reason is, is never a fun voice to listen to like people want this okay they don't want some like fucking big bang theory like understudy for fucking whatever that girl's name is like giving out facts and fucking level-headed, you know, intelligent, nuanced thought. It's just not, it's not as attractive, right? That's why this girl has fucking 700,000 followers because she has fucking blue lipstick and fucking her entire body is tattooed. You know what I mean? Um, but again, I guess like, I guess people who buy into this shit, like you get what you deserve, honestly, like straight up, like, you know, I, I don't know. All right. Anyway, just wanted to that's what her kid eats and that's cool but i don't think many kids are just going to eat raw radishes that like aren't even sliced up but yeah it's, it's a lot of food i couldn't even eat that much in one sitting i can't imagine many kids could either in fact this is one of the things that you want to look out for if you're going to feed your kid a vegan diet you need to make sure that they aren't getting so much fiber that it is inhibiting their ability to eat enough food to get enough calories i know that monami's intentions are good she's only trying to help people feed their kid and learn how to feed their kid a vegan, vegan diet and that's great but the end result is not good these meals are not appropriate for kids they are way too heavy in carbs they are way too low in protein and fat and she seems to feed her daughter gabby similarly so this video um it's away today from three months ago i'm not going to show it because i mentioned in a recent video i'm not going to show kids in my videos anymore because you know how i well some of you know how i feel about that i'm really not cool with the family blogging stuff so i'll include the link in the description of course and you can go watch the video for yourself anyway she eats a salad of lettuce cucumber tomato and veganese she has a small orange or a clementine a huge bowl of corn a piece of chocolate some avocado toast some uh russian barancas like hard little bagel potato dumplings uh, monami calls it pelmeni with cucumber bell pepper and celery some alpro soy yogurt and some grapes so lots of fruits and vegetables obviously which is great although you know if, if it were my kid i would be worried about calories it seems that gabby is making up for this by eating just incredibly frequently i think she eats like eight times during the day not much fat you know the only like meaningful amount of fat is coming from the veganese and the avocado maybe the dumplings depending on what's in them if there's other stuff other than dumplings maybe there's oil no good source of protein, no you know tofu or beans or something. The only good source is the yogurt. And again, maybe the dumplings, depending on what's in them. When I looked up Russian pelmeni, it seems that traditionally it's a meat-based dumpling. So like if you're trying to make it more traditional, you could use satan or tofu or something. Um, but she called it a potato dumpling, and I did find this vegan recipe that's just potatoes. Uh, so if it's anything like that, obviously that's not going to be a good source of protein. And it's not just fat and protein that are the issue. Um, I'd be very concerned about calcium. The RDA for kids, her age is 1,300 milligrams per day. Yet the only good source of calcium is the yogurt, and that does not provide anywhere close to 1,300 milligrams. There's no mention of B12 or D supplementation, and like the calcium, the only source is the yogurt, and that's not enough. There also isn't any good source of omega-3s, no hemp seeds or flax or chia seeds or canola oil. Vitamin A is probably lacking as well as vitamin e she probably gets a lot of b vitamin all right this is boring um yeah no shit dude like i don't know i i, I wonder sometimes like because the people who watch this video this is not like the first video they've ever seen on youtube about fucking vegan shit so like obviously it's not good for you obviously nobody should ever do it i know she said she does it and her kids do it like maybe i mean to be fair it does not look like the pinnacle of health to me so you know do you really want to like how much do you really like do you want to look like this okay then then take her advice she's very nice I, I like that she is pointing out some things about the fucking vegan community on the internet but like do you is is this who you want to emulate no offense if you ever watch this unnatural vegan but like you know what i mean obviously this shit is fucking impossible to do correctly not impossible it's it's difficult to do correctly when like literally one piece of liver would solve all, pretty much all your problems and like i don't know i i don't know anything about this fucking tattooed not her the the fucking tattooed fucking blue lipstick girl i don't know whatever like who let her have kids actually like who allowed her to breed um 
Monami frost, whatever, who cares? Vitamins and zinc, just from the sheer amount of dumplings that she eats, these dumplings are like primarily flour, which if it's enriched flour is going to have B vitamins and zinc and whatnot. But I would worry about bioavailability. We know that zinc from foods like grains and beans is less bioavailable than from meat. And so it's actually recommended that vegans eat about 50% more of the RDA. It's not a good day to showcase. And I'm not pointing this out to, to shame anyone. Look, I know how picky kids can be. I have a toddler, <laughs> I have a toddler who of course has picky days, but I would never put up a video showing like one of their picky days where they basically eat like soy milk and whole wheat bread and peanut butter. I would never put that out there for you guys and just present it like, this is fine. This is, this is a healthy way for a kid to eat, which is what Monami is doing with videos like this. You know, she's not saying, hey, my kid's picky and I know this is a weird day. Like there's a lot of things that she's missing, but you know, I don't know, maybe we give her a multi or something like that. Like then I wouldn't give a shit. Like again, of course kids are picky, but that's not the way this is presented. This is presented and all the other videos with Gabby as like, this is fine. This is how a vegan kid eats. And it doesn't matter if this isn't a typical day for Gabby. If she does normally eat more, you know, beans and whatnot, and she does take supplements, I wouldn't be surprised if she She's obviously not anti-supplements, so I wouldn't know. It just, it doesn't make up for video after video after video she, without saying she's picky. This is one of the only things it's going to be picky, so it can be work. But in terms of just protein, also going to increase the zinc and iron and other minerals. Adding in nuts, again, that's going to increase the protein and zinc and vitamin E as well. Um, so just a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are an incredible source of vitamin E. Some vitamin A sources, carrot, sweet potato, pumpkin, you need so little of these things to get tons of vitamin A. Um, the same with omega-3s. Again, you need so little of hemp or chia or flax um, or canola oil to meet needs, not only for children, but for adults as well. And of course, supplement for B12 and D and probably a multi as well, since again, Gabby seems to be rather picky. She doesn't seem to um, get a lot of variety. Again, I'm not trying to shame anyone. My kid does not eat perfectly. My kid is picky. I've talked about this before. They hate being messy. They hate making a mess. They freak out. And so you know, oftentimes, if it's something that they can pick up with their hands, like we still feed them. Like we still hand feed them. They're like two and a half years old and we still hand feed them. Yeah. Vegan or not, please stop supporting them. Stop promoting them. I also think that we should be encouraging any parents who are um, either looking to be vegan while pregnant or looking to feed their kids vegan, that they should speak to a dietitian. You know, you don't know what you don't know. And clearly a lot of vegans, including vegans who make money, like selling veganism, don't know. Yeah, dietitians don't know shit. Nutritionists don't know shit. Most fucking YouTubers don't know shit. But people are so dumb that they'll fucking just believe that shit anyway because they don't test it on their own. They're not healthy themselves. And they think just because some somebody fucking studied or read a book and took a test and like has a special piece of paper on their wall that they should be listened to or has a YouTube channel they should be listened to. And like I said earlier, honestly, th these people, if, if they're that dumb, like most people sadly are, if they're that dumb, they get what they deserve, right? Survival of the fittest, fucking strong will survive. Fucking intelligent people will survive. And stupid people who fall for this bullshit and intentionally malnourish their kids because some tattooed freak on YouTube did it, you get what you deserve, you know? Like, I don't want to say fuck your kids, but like, w tough, tough shit. Like, what do you expect? You fucking play, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Like, actually, like, what do you expect? This girl seems intelligent. Seems like she kind of knows her shit about veganism or is at least interested in it enough to properly nourish her offspring. Even though she did say her kids are short, you know. Um, but like why why do this i understand we all have animals blah 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 but like spend an extra fucking three dollars and go get the like buy from a local farm you know what i mean you like so against killing animals like you know what i mean like l look at all this shit that you have to eat to fucking have a balanced diet on veganism you gotta have fucking carrots you gotta have twice as many beans you gotta have fucking sunflower seeds like who's gonna fucking buy all this shit and make sure you eat it on a daily basis like who's actually gonna do all that nobody's gonna fucking do that they're gonna watch the like tattooed freaky youtuber like make a fucking nice little tupperware with like the tomatoes over here and like the cute little wrap with the corn over here and like make her little pretty little tortilla and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich because people are so easily fucking influenced by anybody that has any amount of social clout that they just stop thinking they don't think at all like i, I just watched that video about what's that girl's name the girl who stopped going vegan rebecca something um she went to like eight different fucking specialists they all told her the same thing she didn't want to believe it you know uh, that's different she built her like career on being vegan fine um but honestly like straight up like people who have health problems who don't have like a genetic fucking like problem with their actual DNA. Like if you weren't born with it, it's your fucking fault, okay? If you're born with it, you're missing a fucking arm or like you have some like fucked up shit or you in some you were in an accident, okay, fine. Like I'm sorry, that sucks. But if you have some fucking chronic health problem that like you can't understand why you have it, uh maybe it's your lifestyle, you know? Maybe it's possible very much. Why does veganism continue to be put under the microscope this way and associated strongly with such extreme negativity? After uh. all, I've never seen a headline that says family of omnivores starve child to death, yet the vast majority of cases of malnutrition in the Western world come from families who eat a meat and two veg diet. The majority of severe cases of malnutrition have nothing to do with ideology, though. I mean, they're typically a result of just abject neglect or poverty. When we're talking about these cases of vegan kids, the parents describe themselves as vegans. I don't think that news outlets are in the wrong or including that in their coverage. I think that excluding it for fear of, like, upsetting vegans or something would be pretty terrible journalism. And yes, many omnivorous kids are malnourished to varying degrees, but not all malnourishment is equal. Like, look, a lot of um, kids eating animal products, just most American kids do not get enough fiber. But a kid is not 
going to die or become developmentally stunted from eating too little fiber, whereas a kid who's not getting any B12 or vitamin D or calcium absolutely will. And even still, health organizations around the world are trying to do something about this. They're all promoting that adults and kids eat more fiber. It's not like people are pretending that fiber isn't important. The only people who are saying eat a low fiber diet are like carnivore nuts and no one takes them seriously. The same with toddlers and milk. It is widely known and promoted that, hey, don't feed your kid too much cow's milk because it can lead to iron deficiency. No one is pretending that a diet that contains animal products is automatically healthy. I'm reminded of the case of a little boy, I think this was a few years ago, I read this piece on it, um, a little boy who was very, very sick and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. And it turned out the kid had scurvy because he was only eating like milk and graham crackers. And the only reason they found out was because they directly asked the parents. When they asked them before, the parents just said, oh, well, he's a picky eater. And then when they asked what exactly is he eating, and they said graham crackers and milk, oh, okay, probably scurvy. Now, the headline could have been... Yeah, chocolate, chocolate milk. Um, didn't, didn't mention that, but okay, fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so milk, pasteurized, homogenized, <laughs> and then you add fucking chocolate and sugar to it, and all you eat is graham crackers, like... I don't know. I, I just I wonder like who are these parents? Like why why do why why is it why is humanity and I guess I guess the world needs stupid people. Like we actually like if you think about it, why why do we have all this cool shit in the world? Why do we have shopping malls? Why do we have fucking fast food places? Which you could talk shit about fast food if you want, but like straight up, like fast food is good. It leads to a lot of really good things. Like you can go get a fucking meal sitting in your car and then go like about your life. That that makes your entire life more efficient. Um we need stupid people though in order to support that like the world is essentially supported by n the fucking 98 percent of like idiots in the world who make these really dumb choices because they're so easily influenced and don't fucking put any thought into their decisions the world is not mainly made up of fucking intelligent people like you know miss glasses over here <coughs> so like i said like survival of the fittest man you want to fucking feed your kid fucking chocolate milk and graham crackers and like not understand like why they're developing fucking health problems like what the like what is wrong with you that's all they'll eat well guess what maybe fucking don't feed them until they actually eat some food you know what i mean oh i just i don't understand i really don't get it um yeah and, you know, vegetarian kid gets scurvy or something like that because the diet was vegetarian. It's just milk and cookies, right? But they didn't do that because clearly vegetarianism had nothing to do with it. It was just two parents who had no idea what they were doing. I guess they thought that, yeah, he's picky, but he's eating, so it can't be that bad. I don't think reputable outlets are out to get us. I've seen so much positive vegan coverage in the last, like, a year or two from virtually every mainstream outlet. I think they're just reporting the facts. And obviously, they're going to get clicks, including vegan in the headline, but it's true. It's not a lie. And again, it ultimately means that we have more to talk about, you know, by not saying that this is vegan related it's so easy for us to be like well not a problem we don't have to talk about it but when they put vegan in the title more vegans are going to talk about it and you know what at least to take some kind of good out of this i mean there's nothing good about shit <laughs> i've not read the whole time there's obviously nothing good about this but shh, at least at least we can again tell people that there is a right way and and finally, you know, if I still haven't convinced you that we should be concerned about cases like this and that maybe it does have at least something to do with veganism and maybe we should be concerned that so many of these parents are just crazy and also vegan, if that still doesn't concern you, can you at least admit that coming across this callous, that making it pretty clear that you're... All right, I get it. Um, I don't know, why Why is this video so boring for me? I don't, I don't really understand. Like, is, is she not fucking saying, like, taking five minutes to explain something she could have explained in, like, 30 seconds? Am I just, like, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we get it, like... Um, but here's the problem with this is like the people who are going to like you're preaching to the choir right intelligent people who watch this it's all obvious to them it's all very clear like everybody knows this I anyone who actually watched this video like this is not going to convince anybody I don't think you know what I mean there's, there's no like people on the fence about this like people who watch this video who get this far are, are going to like be agreeing with this person the whole time People who decide to not watch this video or will like attack this person because she said anything like not positive about veganism, they're not gonna listen anyway. They keep doing whatever they want. So in, in my opinion, it's like, why does why this even need to be said? And I guess the reason, the only reason I can think of is just to p create a 25 minute piece of content that will get you a lot of views on your channel and like pretend to cry, you know, as you like talk about a dead baby or something. Um, Y'all vegan fold, do yourselves a favor and look for Indian rep recipes. Oh, that's actually fucking good advice. Um, brilliant. You look like Velma from Scooby-Doo. Oh. Our only real concern is how veganism is covered in the media is a pretty bad look. That smiling and laughing over and over and over again in a video about a child dying is a pretty bad look. If your only concern is getting people to think positively about veganism, you're not helping. I wasn't going to talk about this because obviously it really upsets me and I already did, you know, feel like I've talked about this topic so much recently and it's like really bad timing for me because I just had a baby and I'm still, I don't know, kind of hormonal and I mean it upsets me, you know, anyway, but it's kind of worse right now. It sticks with me longer, but obviously it's important and reading a piece like this, it's just, I feel like we need more people coming out and saying like, no, this is concerning and we should talk about it and not in just like, well, this has nothing to do with veganism.
not my problem. You know, I, I think that's totally inappropriate. This is obviously much bigger than just these severe cases. There are obviously a lot of kids who are not eating vegan appropriately, and it's probably because their parents just don't know. And maybe their parents just don't know because the vocal vegans, the online vegans, are promoting bad advice. Just a thought. Anyway, thanks for watching. Or maybe because they're fucking too stupid to notice the effects of their choices, which, like, who cares? Like, let them, I don't want to say let them die, but like, you, you get what you deserve. You know what I mean? You make fucking stupid choices, you don't pay attention to the results. Like, what do you expect? Like, because you believed some fucking freak on YouTube, like some video that she made? Well, you're a fucking idiot. Like, you want to feed your kid fucking bird food? Go ahead. Like, what do you, like, actually, what do you expect? You know, what do you, what do you, you have bad values. You have the wrong beliefs, okay? I guess you could say, because do we really have a choice what we believe? I guess you, you could make that argument that at any moment in time, you can choose to believe something. You can, like, force yourself to believe it if you want. But that requires effort and, and thought and who's actually going to do that? Nobody, especially not some fucking vegans who are like looking for the easy way out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I started out, I liked this video so much, but like as it went on, I was just like, oh my God, like why get to the point already? Um, yeah, again, this is like, you know, <coughs> very uh, obvious. Is this not obvious to people? Like... I don't know. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, who told me to do this? Thick, the K Robbins 32. Um, thank you for telling me to do this, even though I got like a little cranky in this video. Thank you. I appreciate everyone who ever tells me to do a video, even if I cry like a little bitch when I do it, because, you know, nobody told me to do any videos. I have to like pick them on my own. God forbid. Okay. <laughs> or make my own videos. Like, oh my God, please. No. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a comment. Peace.